Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you real quick about two features on your GC3 keypad. Um, they both involve your screen. So if the screen isn't awoke yet, you can go ahead and either touch the green button here or touch the screen itself to wake it up. You're going to go to the system settings. You're going to type in your master code. That master code is that first code that we gave you. Once you do that, you're going to come to this screen here. And so we want to click on the screen button. And that's going to let us change all sorts of things on the screen. We can dial the brightness up and down. We can change how long until our screen times out. I like to keep it at one minute. You can go all the way up to six minutes, it looks like. Actually, nope, you can go all the way up to 10 minutes. Um, I would not make it 10 minutes, but you can make it as long as you want. And then you have what is called clean mode here. In clean mode, if you hit that start button, allows you to actually touch the screen without doing anything. So if you've got fingerprints all over this, if you know there's something that's gotten on the screen here, the touch screen, if you click start, then you can do anything you want on this screen and it won't do anything. Now if you touch either of these two buttons on the side here, it'll take you out of the clean mode automatically and take you into whatever it is, whether it's the home page or the emergency button screen. So be careful not to touch these. But again, you can use that to wipe down your screen. The other cool feature the GC3 has now is that you can actually have your own photos on the screen. And um, these can be either the factory photos that came with it, or it can be photos that you upload. So if you look at the top right here, there's a little gray button. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. There you go, maybe. And you see the USB symbol on top of it. If you take your fingertip, uh, like a fingernail or something, and you can see how it kind of bunches up right there, it just pries right out. It's just a little rubber boot. I don't have fingernails, so it makes it a little trickier, but there we go. And underneath there is a USB port. Make sure you put this back when you're done. Uh, you can take a thumb drive, though, that has photos on it and actually load the photos onto this device. And so if you want to do that and have a screensaver, basically make this a digital picture frame that's not in use, you're going to take the screensaver from off to the My Photos or Demo mode. Now, My Photos is one that you want to use. And then you can edit the photos that you want in there. And you do that by hitting the uh, pencil there. And then you see where it says Replace Photos. If you click Replace Photos, it's going to tell you to install it, insert a USB drive that has a folder in it named Slideshow. And inside that photo Slideshow is going to be all of your photos. Um, once you do that, then it will give you the option to download them onto your GC3 here. And that will replace all of your existing photos. You can also change how long you want the photo to be on the screen, what kind of a transition effect you want, how long you want the transition to take, and your display sequence. So you can make it either a shuffle like I have, or you, can, you could name them sequentially if you wanted it to go in a certain order and it would do them alphabetically. Um, and then I always leave the full landscape mode on because that lets it take up the entire screen here. Uh, you can preview your photos by clicking that button there and see what they look like when they pop up here. You can just touch the screen to wake it back up. Once you get all that done, you just hit the back arrow and you're back out here to the main screen. You can decide when you want a screensaver to be on. Typically, you don't need a, seat, a screensaver all night long, right? Uh, you just usually want it on during the day when people are there. But you can change it using the, um, it's just like a uh, slide wheel, right? And you can use it to change what times you want. When you get done, hit the checkbox. And there you go. So I've got mine set from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I just used the factory photos that came on this one. We have another unit that actually has photos of projects we've done. Uh, you can put your family, family, your dogs, whatever you want, right? And then that's the other settings that I prefer to have on ours. When you're all done, hit the back arrow, back arrow, and there you are. You're right back out to the screen. And when the screen times out, then, of course, it's going to go back to your photos. That's all there is.